So I'm curious about some of the conversations you've had over the past few days. And, and I think there certainly has been a much broader, more robust discussion around private sector engagement, about the role of business in the SDGs. Obviously, they were involved in the process. But one of the things I've really noticed is the number of events, the number of, um, you know, CEOs and corporations represented as we're having this whole series of discussions across a range of events. What is the role of, of entrepreneurship within that? Where, wh what are the interesting conversations you've had? Well, it's interesting. Yesterday, um, I was in a session on innovation. And it's very interesting to me that people can talk about innovation without talking about entrepreneurship because there are a gazillion good ideas. There are a gazillion wonderful new technologies out there, but it takes entrepreneurs to really drive those ideas and those innovations into society to affect that change that Joseph Schumpeter called creative destruction. And so that's our idea too, that social entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs bring about those new equilibria. And that's what we need. We need social service providers who are trying to make things better, trying to ameliorate the worst conditions of, of suffering and misery. We need social activists who are trying to engage business and government to enact the laws that create the frameworks. And we need social entrepreneurs who take direct action, but also seek what advocates seek, which is that new equilibrium, those outcomes that last for society. So, I see social entrepreneurs as incredibly important actors in, engage, in engaging entrepreneurs across the spectrum. You know, one of the big discussions, and I'm sure you hear this with, from the entrepreneurs that, that, you, that you work with and support, is around this issue of finance. Um, and I think one of the things that I've heard a lot this week is about new forms of innovative finance, new mechanisms that are emerging that are looking to you know, bring in commercial capital and maybe leveraging some donor capital to figure out how to address some of these issues using business models. You know, everything from um, sexual and reproductive health to poverty alleviation and wide spectrum, right? But, but sort of where, where do you fall on, on what needs to be done to mobilize this additional capital? We're seeing some, some cases, right? I think that's promising, but there's a lot of work left to do. And what's your, what's your role in that? I think we need it all. We need innovation across this whole financing space. We talk about Sir Ronald Cohen, who has been one of the pioneers of bringing about this revolution in social finance. He's one of the pioneers of the idea for a social impact bond, for example. Um, understanding that government resources may or may not be as effective as they could be and if we have the innovators in the social sector who can prove that there's a more efficient way to go about this and we have um, we have the capital markets who can finance that philanthropy can actually guarantee against losses then you're starting to liberate capital to actually accelerate positive change in areas like prison recidivism in education and in other areas. So you're just starting to see this kind of very creative financing come to the fore. Philanthropy has a big role to play there because risk um, is actually what uh, philanthropy is equipped to do. And so it can backstop some of this and make it possible for the capital markets to dip their toes in and to see what might be, what might be possible. But we also need, I think, um, uh, to prove that there are more efficient and effective models out there because there is a lot of waste in in development. Development knows it. You know, it's it's no one's trying to waste resources or not leverage um, leverage local communities um, effectively. But social entrepreneurs have evolved these models that really prove what's possible. So the degree to which that scale and those efficiencies can be taken up by development entities you will see, I think, a, a whole lot better use of the resources that are available.